What's up, guys? Let me explain something real quick. So a lot of you probably know me as the guy who makes SpongeBob videos and ridiculous sports videos, just like sports, some random high school athlete. But I had an old YouTube channel where I did a lot of animal videos. I used to be a huge animal nerd. So a lot of my following on this channel is from that old channel. Or they've seen my better animal videos on this one, which there are a few of, but you know, not a lot. So I let you guys vote on my Instagram polls and you guys wanted to see me get a new Fire Belly Toad Tank. So here I am with this video. Sports fans, don't worry, I will be posting more sports videos, so do not unsubscribe because there are more coming. But right now, it's the animal nerds time. So basically right here, I got this 20 gallon tank. This is uh, John the Leopard Gecko's tank. He's in there while I'm doing this real quick. And uh, right now, the Fire Belly Toads that belong to me and my brother, are in that tank over there, which used to be a paludarium, which means it had land and water. The paludarium didn't work out so well, not because we did ba took bad care of it, we actually did it very well. It's just when you went on vacation, it was very hard uh, for animal sitters to really do proper maintenance of it, because you're asking a lot. And for those wondering, this is my only area of expertise. I am a high school athlete. Other than that, I know nothing. So this tank in my brother's room that the three fire blade toads are in, we're gonna swap it with the other one because this one health doesn't really work because of the level of water, it leaks, and it's just so much better to be a leopard gecko tank. So we're gonna swap them. So let's do this. So first let's clean this bad boy out of all the John Dookie. That's much better. Now I gotta empty out that tank over there and move that. Uh, so while I'm doing that, how about we meet the frogs? Now, this is Naveen, the one male out of the three. Uh, we've had all these guys for about two and a half years now. You can tell the difference by the markings. Naveen has two symmetrical big lines on his back. And Tiana, our more furrow female, has a bunch of dots on her back. And then Charlotte is up here. Can't really make out her markings right there, but she has two non-symmetrical lines on her back. So that's how you tell them apart. So the problem with this tank was that um, the filter we had uh, needed a certain water level in order for it to work and if you filled the tank to that water level it would leak so this tank just didn't really work out for that matter. As expected that took a minute but there's their old tank ready to be turned to John's tank. The 20 gallons in there ready to be turned into their tank. So that means it's time for another time lapse of me, this time, making it. So the trick to making a tank for fire blade toads that has to be like mostly water with a few land spots because they're like mostly, they're water frogs. So like bullfrogs, like tiny bullfrogs. So basically this whole tank is just gonna fill with water but has a bunch of decorations they can get up on for like dry land, a place where their food's gonna be to eat. Um, so yeah. And bam. There it is, just the result I wanted with the filter running perfectly. All right, now I'm gonna make John's tank, and while I'm doing that, enjoy some footage of the frogs in their new tank. Alright, so I have to assume a lot of you guys came to this video because maybe you're trying to get fire belly toads at some point. And now, so I highly suggest them. I think they're a super easy pet. You really don't have to clean their tank a lot, especially if you have a good filter like this one. The tank is set up right, like the one I just made um, in this video. Um, they really don't require anything at all. They just, you get feed them like twice a week. And they're all good. They eat a lot more than you think, though. Like a couple of mealworms that are like close to their size is what fills them up for one feeding. Um, but yeah, they're pretty social, so you're gonna want to get a couple. I recommend um, for like every 10 gallons of a tank. Like the, the tank I have them in now is a 20 gallon long. I kept four of them in a 10 gallon. These three plus another one named Oogie, um, who I no longer. have. Anyways though, like depending on how you have the, set, uh, the tank set up, if you have it set up like this one does, is, like for every 10 gallon, I'd say it could fit like, uh, 
think you can put four in a 10 gallon, then I'd add two for every 10 gallons it gets. So I wouldn't put like eight in a 20 gallon, not necessarily. Because they need just like space to establish. Because as you can see here, you know, they, they don't have a lot of personal space boundaries, but sometimes they want to establish some territory. They can get in some fights. As always, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. Um, you guys know what to do. You know, subscribe, like, follow the Instagram. And, you know, here's a little video of John to send you guys off into your day. Have a good one.